So we're going to slow it down for a request. Um, when I think of the good days of Jesus,
always in order. Praise is always in order. And before I take it back, I add something to it. Hallelujah. I said before I take it back, I add something to it. Hallelujah. And once again, we'd like to welcome you to the Brother Life Deliverance Church. And then we thank God for each and every guest minister that's in this place on tonight. And then we thank God for Pastor Marla. Give a hand and a praise.
Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise Amen. At this time, we're going to take up our offering. I'm going to ask that everyone can stand with a $35 seed. Amen. 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 If you have a $35 seed, I ask that you stand at this time.
is not in accidents. I'm alive because there's more. I'm alive. I'm alive.
give your name the glory. God, we give your name the honor. God, there's nobody like you. We crucify our flesh even right now, God, that you may be glorified. We get no glory out of this, oh God. But God, we want you to be pleased in this room, even now, God, in the name of the Lord Jesus. God, speak to our hearts. Speak to our mind, God. Speak to our spirit, man. In the name of the Lord Jesus, God, give us big ears so that we can hear what the Spirit is saying unto the church. And we give your name praise. And we give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Come on, clap your hands. Oh, come on. You can do that. Somebody ought to open their mouth and say thank you, Jesus. Somebody ought to give God praise for the name of God. That we're celebrating life and not death like the Father is here. Because if we could have rolled him in, I think we have to go. We're celebrating with balloons, hallelujah. We're celebrating with gifts, hallelujah. And we're celebrating with a praise. Come on, let's, hallelujah. But to give a praise, amen. Take a good look at me now. Some of you don't know me. 
Amen. So go ahead and take a look now. Amen. Because in just about 3.5 seconds from now, amen, I'm going to be ready to take off like nothing I've ever before. See, I learned a long time ago how to look past people, look beyond their faces. Amen. Because the truth of the matter is, and, and I, really, I, I, I came to celebrate, but I, I came to help. And, and, and sometimes in helping, you have to push people where they need to be. Yeah. Amen, amen. And, 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 and because we're at the, the home of the praise, uh -huh. when the leader hit the floor, yeah. everything that's connected to this ministry, I don't care if you're visiting, everything that's, you're here, amen. And, and right today, for, for this purpose, we all gonna be honorary members. Which means when the leader goes up, we all go up. I'm going somewhere with all this. Amen. Because the leader can see what we cannot. The leader breaks ground that we don't even know needs to be broken. And so even though I'm an overseer and I am the bigger brother, I'm in his home. And so I learned that whatever the man of God does, come on, you know the old saying when you're in Rome. You do as the Romans. Come on. And so I look to see when the man of God prays, we all should be praising. When the man of God lifts, we all should be lifting because that's the spirit of the house. That's the spirit of the house. Let me, let me go on. Let me go on to this. Amen. Because I don't want anybody upset. Amen. Let's, let's go to uh, First Kings. First Kings. First Kings. I, I'm here to celebrate. My brother, overseer, amen. We were just together, amen, a few weeks ago, amen, down in Albany, Georgia. Yes. Amen. We, we had a good old time down there. Yes. Amen. Uh, First Kings, the 18th chapter, amen. Um, I didn't see enough. Oh, 35, 35. Lord Jesus. Somebody say, thank God for 35. Thank God for 35. Because they could have stopped at 34, but God said, no, keep on living. Hallelujah to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. First Kings, the 18th chapter. I'm just glad to be here. I'm going to do what I got to do and take my seat. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm going to start at verse number 41. In that very familiar passage of scripture. Thank God for the praise team. Amen. 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 Then Elijah said to Ahab, Go up, eat, and drink, for there is the sound of abundance of rain. Don't be fooled by what you see. Don't be what you see. Because a lot of it is in the sound. A lot of your victory is in what you hear, not what you see. A lot of your deliverance is in what you hear and not what you see. And, and, and this is why, you know, I'm very sensitive when it comes to the visionary of the house and, and the leader uh, of in, in any circle because we have to be very careful um, to follow and to be obedient. There's nothing wrong with being a great singer or a praise singer. There's nothing wrong with being a great deacon. There's nothing wrong with being a great musician. Amen. But if you're not following out of obedience, everything that you're doing is for no. And, and, and it's, it's very dangerous, amen, to be connected to a man of God that has vision and you fail to see. What's really going on? Come on, come on? And so we must pray for our man of God. God, as he sees, just help me to follow. God, as he speaks, help me to hear. Yeah. You're quiet up in here. Yeah. Because it makes no difference how great I am in the music department or the dance department or the drama department if my life is not matching with the vision of the house. If my life is not matching up with the visionary and the word of God that's coming from the man of God. So in this scripture, uh, we start out in celebration. The writer didn't say, go pray. The writer didn't say fast. The writer 
didn't say uh, dry your tears. The writers didn't say lift your heavy heart. The, the writer said go up. Eat. Now it's time for you to eat and drink. And in most cases, uh, when, when it's time to celebrate, you got to have some good food. Y'all quiet up in here. Those of you that don't know me, I own a food truck called Miss Johnny Mays. And, and I pride myself in, in serving good food. Uh, otherwise, uh, you're wasting your time. Uh, we come to celebrate. We come to give God good praise. Even when we don't see it. Even when we don't feel it. Even when we feel like we're in a strange land. I heard uh, uh, the expert I to say, praise is always in order. Praise is always in order. And so he tells uh, Ahab, says uh, to Elijah, I mean, Elijah says to Ahab, go up, eat, and drink, for there is the sound, the sound, the sound. There's a sound. I I'm going off of what I'm hearing. I, I know what, what, what we're dealing with, and I know what we're feeling in our spirit. I, I know what's been predicted. I know what the folks are saying, but I'm hearing something else. Look, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I know what the people's opinion is, but in my spirit, man, I'm, 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 I'm hearing something else. And I'm so why should I see discouraged? Why should I sit here upset? Why should I sit here confused? Why should, because I hear something that's different from what's out on the street. This can only come from something greater than me. Look at your neighbor say, neighbor, there's something above your head that's, that's coming together on your behalf. There, there's somebody working behind the scenes that you have not yet seen. But if you just close your eyes and listen, not, not with your natural ear, but I dare you to listen to tap in with your spiritual ear and hear what God is saying. I need somebody to tap into the spirit. So I hear something. I hear it. Y'all don't hear that? Remember one time my mom. My mom, I, I was little, I, I don't know what, what age, but I remember her telling me the story, and, and she said, I will wake up, I had to be like three, four, five, something like that, wake up in the middle of the night, say, do, do you hear that? Do you hear it? And, and her and my dad would be like, no, you don't hear it. What, what do you hear? And I said, I hear the angels. You don't hear that, mama? I hear the angels rejoicing. The angels are singing. You've got to learn how to get out of flesh. Shake yourself real good. And say, although it happened, and I should have been dead, that very thing should have taken me out. Everything they said about me was not a lie. A lot of it was true. But God, y'all come to you. So I'm not going to sit here and have a pity party. But no, this is 35. This is what 35 looks like. And so I'm going to celebrate because they had a, a, a funeral clothes waiting for me. They had funeral flowers waiting for me. But look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I heard something in the spirit whispered in the middle of the night that simply said,
really said it like this. I might be black. I might be ugly. Neighbor, you ain't seen nothing yet. Come on, eyes have not seen, ear have not heard, nor has it into the heart of man. What God? You better tell somebody I'm getting ready to take off like never before. Where's my servant? See, that's the problem. 
that we can't find many servants. Everybody want to be a preacher. Everybody want to be wonderful. Everybody want to be great. But you have no idea what it took and what I had to go through. The pain that I had. The many sleepless nights. My pillows drenched in tears. No, I'm not just saying the whole lot. I'm telling you that in order to be anointed, baby, you won't go through some storms, some So Elijah says, I'm prophesying even the more that not only is victory coming, but it's coming here. And it's gonna be a whole lot. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, say, I'm getting there. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, neighbor. I got victory, I got and I got a whole lot of it. Ask your neighbor, do you hear what I hear? Yeah. 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 But, but, but there was a whole nother group that said, No, I don't hear it. Because they refused to hear. And so Elijah knew that these jokers had to see it for their own selves. So he tells his servant, he said, go out and look towards the, the water. Y'all know the story. He says, go out and look out there. The Bible says that the servant goes out and he returns back to his master. Ain't nothing there. Now, out of obedience... Because the Bible says that he does it seven more times. Yeah. Go, back. Go, back. Go, back. go back. Go back. No, go again. Go again. Uh -huh. Look at your neighbor and say, look again. Look again. Yeah, now yeah, I can imagine. We only gonna take but so much. Probably about that fourth time, you're like, what? This man got me going back and forth for no reason. I'm tired. I, 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 I got other things that I really could be doing. But he got me running back and forth. There's something about the vision of the visionary. Because as, 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 as wonderful as you may be in your office and in your gift, can't nobody see like the pastor. That's why the scripture tells us to write the vision and make it plain. So that y'all can see it and then run with it. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. neighbor. If he say go, if he said go. then it's just go. Just go. You, 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 you gotta be obedient because you really don't know everything that the man of God is seeing. Amen. Amen. Do you hear what I hear? And I'm really trying. See, sometimes I know y'all get tired of saying, slap your neighbor, touch your neighbor. I, I can say that too. But what I found out is sometimes when you repeat what I'm saying, it comes back to you a whole lot easier and a whole lot quicker than you would have to do it on your own. So I'm just trying to help you, not aggravate you. So one more time, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, do you hear what I hear? And answer that. So now ask them, do you see? What I, what I see. The servant comes back and says, Sir, Master, I don't see it. And that's because you're not the visionary. That's because God did not give it to you like he gave it to me. And, and what I want you to understand, people of God, is that there will be times that leadership will tell you to do and you don't understand. There will be times where leadership will tell you to show up and you will be the only one there for Bible study, for prayer, but call choir rehearsal. He can come, call, call. And so sometimes the, 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 the overseer will lead us someplace and we have no idea why we're there. Right. 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 But there, there's something on the inside of the man of God that is brewing and getting ready for birthing. And, and, and God is getting ready to attach what he spoke and what he saw to manifestation. Right. See, we can't just stop with the celebration. The celebration ain't for us. The celebration is for you because we're just trying to help you in your faith because our faith, before we get up to preach, before we get up to prophesy, before we lay hands on anybody, we've already preached. 
preach to ourselves. We've already prophesied to ourselves. We've already laid hands. So all of this is not for us, but this is for you. The people are weary. Come on, let's dance. The people are tired. Come on, let's dance. The people are sick. Come on, let's dance. The people are weary. Come on, let's dance. Because somehow the dance has become what you say? A distraction. Every distraction ain't a bad distraction. If I could just get the people to take their eyes off the problem for just a few seconds and focus on glory, then and maybe then, with the Spirit of God, come through the house and save the Go back. This is number five. I don't see nothing. Go back. This is number six. I don't see nothing. Go back. And, and the Bible says by the seventh time. So it says seven, seven, seven. Go back until you get it. Go back until you see it. Go back until clarity comes to your life. Until deliverance comes to your house. Keep going back. Don't you dare give up. Don't you dare throw in the towel. Keep on going. I know they say you're crazy. I know your family members keep saying, why do you keep going over there? Why do you keep giving all of your money? what you want to hear, but you keep coming back, praying for them, fasting for them, and then going back in hopes of seeing something different, so I'm quiet, and I don't see it, so I'm going back to the altar, and I'm going to pray again, and I'm going to fast some more, until I get home one day, and, and so, Elijah said, well, what did you see? He said, I saw a cloud. Uh -huh. yeah. But, 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 Master, it wasn't anything significant. It wasn't anything grand. It wasn't anything big. It was small about the size of a man's fist. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Despise not small beginnings. Because everybody had a starting place. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. I might not have what you have right now, but give me a few more days. I feel a hand.
speaking your name so that the battle that you're getting ready to come out of, you're going to come out of it sweatless. You're getting ready to experience a sweatless victory while everybody else is still trying to figure it out. While everybody else is trying to write it out. Going to the seminar. Because if the man of God spoke it, it's going to happen. Tell your neighbor, I'm looking for a miracle. I'm expecting a sign. I'm looking for some wonders. Because the Bible says it follows the believer. All I need is one or two believers that will say, I will call on the name of the Lord. Presented abundance. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, be careful how you treat me. Be careful how you handle me. Because I might very be that little thing that God is sending in the house. And when he sends that small thing into the house, expect the great. upset with you because they don't understand your journey. They don't understand what it took for you to get where you are. And because you are there, now is the time to make it count. I going to preach something else. But I felt this thing in my spirit because there's a whole other group that's getting ready to walk through those doors that don't look or sound or dress. They don't know how to do it like we've been taught. And they're going to need some extra care. They're going to they're, they're need that white glove treatment. They're going to be very delicate. Y'all quiet up in here. And, and, and saints of God, those of you that have been here, that, that, that know how to sing and know how to prophesy and know how to dance, uh, don't you let that proud spirit rise up and you end up offending the people of God and running them off. Because I heard the Holy Ghost say, this time you're running off your blessing. This time you're running off your miracle. This You've been praying for help, but every time overseer told you to go out and look, you came back defeated because you didn't see nothing. I tell your neighbor, but this time, if I don't have anything else in my hand, when I return to the man of God, I'm going to have victory with nothing in my hand. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm going to celebrate until manifestation. Oh! 
whole nother group that's not churchy that just want to be loved. Yeah. That is tired of being manipulated yeah. and tricked. They're looking for somebody that's going to teach them how to love God and love themselves. You can't be bold and think it's all about you. But when you're bold, you got to be generous. Because bold is just me being an ambassador from a place that has what I need wholesale. You know what wholesale means? Wholesale means you get a whole lot of it for a little price. When you're bold and generous, you're giving the people the breath of life in deliverance.
mean, this they've been playing some good dancing music. And I sat there because I like to survey the room just like y'all surveyed me. I, I like to look at y'all just like y'all looked at me. And, and, and the people of God were saying, clap your hands. Some of y'all didn't even clap your hands. Some of you didn't even open your mouth. Some of you didn't. I mean, I, mean, I get it. Everybody ain't going to dance. Everybody ain't going to shout. Everybody ain't going to scream. Everybody ain't going to holler. But the Bible says, let everything that have breath. So that means you gotta do something. I don't care. You gotta do something. I don't care if it's just swaying from side to side. I don't care if it's just your pinky toe. If you was not gonna participate, you should have stayed home and watched it on Facebook like everybody else. But there's something about the coming together of believers. I look forward to coming to the house of God with other folk that like to dance. I like coming to the house of God with other folk that believe like me, that believe there's no praise like a powerful praise. That's the, that's the name of my church. That's our, that's our motto. There's no praise like a powerful praise. You have to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Out a powerful praise, and you have no idea what it took. There were many days I wanted to give up and throw it, but it was my praise. And the more I praise him, the more power he gives me. And the more power, the more I praise. You gotta be bold in your praise. Cause something happens when you have a bold praise. The devil can't stop you. The devil can't block you. The devil can't kill you. I see a cloud, a cloud. I see a cloud. Life in the name of the 
of the Lord Jesus. God said, I see your heart. God said, I see your heart. God said, I see your heart. It's a book. Get him outside. And whatever a man thinketh in his heart, so is Your neighbor is not in vain. Your Amen. neighbor is not in vain. Amen. As you continue to preach the unadulterated word of God, God says, I'm continuing to lift you higher. I see elevation coming your way in the name of the Lord Jesus. Because you've got everything that you can do where you are. God says, it's time for you to be elevated and lifted in the spirit realm. So that everybody that comes in contact with you, they're going to understand that this man has been through, that his journey has proven. And I hear the Holy Ghost say right now that he anointed you again and over again. A greater anointing, a refreshing of God's anointing. He's pouring out in my heart. Continue to speak it. Continue to see it. And continue to say it as you live it. Because all eyes are on you. And you cannot fail because your big brother is not going to let you. I'm holding you up in the name of Jesus. That no weapon formed against you, it cannot prosper. Because you're too powerful. You're too mighty in the name of the Lord Jesus. I need a believer or two to clap your hands in this atmosphere and say, I believe God. right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. I speak an abundance. I speak I speak influx. I speak life like never before in here because as you go out bold you come back with more in your hands and your arms than you could ever imagine. The harvest the harvest is plentiful. Yes. And God says, I'm raising up laborers right now. Yes. And it's yours for the taking. Yes. God said, go out and bring it back to the house. Lay it at the altar and sanctify it because it's going to be used to build kingdom. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And it is. And it is I'm done. Yes. And it is so. Father, we thank you. We glorify you. We honor you. There's nobody like you. We've searched all over and still can't find not one. So right where we are, we say thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. For a bold spirit. Yes, Lord. We thank you, God, for speaking to us, for allowing us to hear from you. We don't take it lightly, God. We don't take it lightly. But we thank you even now. And we adore you even now. And it is so. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I know we've lifted one offer that some of you gave. But I, I, I'm not taking anything. I don't want anything. I don't want anything. 
give whatever you was going to give me, give it to the man of God. I don't want it. But I feel like there's more. And, and somebody wants to sow a seed. This ain't for everybody. But I need, and $35 was good. $35 was good. That's a good number. Amen. If you didn't have the 35, I need you to go back and get closer to that. I need you to go back. We want to be a blessing to this man of God. Come, come those of who are in charge of the finances, just come very quickly. Amen. Come on, Mom. Amen. I need, I need those of you who can. Don't get nervous. Go get nervous. But I'm obedient to the spirit of the Lord. Amen. Those of you that can share a hundred dollars with me. For some of you, it's a sacrifice. Put that aside to do something else. I get it. I understand. But I need you to go back. And I need you to dig in. I need you to sacrifice if you have to. Your nail money, your hair money. Hold on. That means dress up. And for us, that can go out and get something new. I had $100 that I was going to spend on a couple of shoes that I saw. And the Holy Ghost convicted me sitting in that service and said, don't you dare take that and spend it on another shoe. You give that to the house of God and watch what I do for you. I'm telling you, we serve a God that will never let you out give him. He's going to give it to you over and over and over and over and over again. I only told you that because I know how you feel. That's why I'm telling you that. I know what it's like. But thanks be unto God, so 25 years later, I never had a broke day in my life. It's time to sow. I know how to give when it's time to give. Amen. And I know some people can see past their paycheck. But there are some entrepreneurs that are even in this room. But your business will never bloom until you know how to bless others. Tell me what I know. Amen. And when you begin to release to be a blessing to other people, watch God show up in your life. And you're going to be able to have the same testimony that the God I serve is abundantly blessing me over and over again. I know that's not for everybody, but for those of you who will be challenged in your giving, whatever you're going to give, I need you to stand to your feet. I need you to stand, especially those of you who are sacrificing. I need you to stand. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Give it. I know you've already given. Amen. A lot of you have already given. This is an overflow here. Amen. Amen. James Jones. Don't play with me. That's my nephew back there playing. What you got in your pocket? How much money you got? You ain't got no money? No money. What's your payday? I got a car. No, what is your pay? You got a car. Oh, do we do we swipe? Do we have a swipe? <laughs> You got cash here? Yeah. I'm not playing with you. You got cash here? I need you to get $20. Come on, get it, get it. Get it, get it. And if, you, if you cash app it, they're going to give you uh, overseas cash app. All right? What's the cash app, y'all? J.O. Parker 05. J.O. Parker 05. something that we 
we say in our church, and I want everybody to stand, even if you've already given, even if you don't have anything to give. Amen. I know what you guys say. Just, just be obedient. Okay? Just do it. Amen. Repeat after me. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not beg. I shall not beg. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I'm the giver. I'm Instead of the borrower. We've been saying this every Sunday for 23 years. I need you to say it with some, some, some excitement. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be. I shall not The Lord is my shepherd. The house is mine. The car is mine. Increase and overflow belongs to my house. And it is so. Bring your gifts, bring those seeds in the name of the Lord Jesus and just drop it from wherever you are. And as you drop it, say, and it is so. In Jesus' name, that's it. And it is so. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And it is so. Somebody else, what you 
to do it and say, God, I'm ready to be next. Come to my house. Bless my children. Bless my household. Bless my bloodline. Bless my finances. chase a thousand, but if all of us hook up together in the Holy Ghost, there's no way that the enemy can ever come and do anything.
God is about to bust up and hit this place. One praise away from your healing. One praise away from your deliverance. 